Hello, I am Dr. Vikas Gavri and I am a board certified cosmetic surgeon and a hair transplant surgeon. So today I would like to tell you about the post-operative instructions after the hair transplant. And we are mostly doing with the FUE method with the latest third generation. Third generation means the instruments they have become very small, the punch sizes and the slitting instruments and the magnification has increased so that the mostly the surgery there should be minimal scar with minimal pain and the results should be with the densely done. Hair transplant can be done anywhere but if it is loosely done so it is not of a good use and even if your hairline somebody tells you oh some, something is done so there is no use of getting hair transplant done so it should be totally natural and undetectable hairline so the today's video is for the post-operative instructions so first this is the page this is a two page uh, information for all your post-operative instructions with our mobile number Mostly the day timings between 11 to 5 p.m. The client can call us any any time, and we have a lot of team to assist in every step. And these are the tablets, which is antibiotics. You have to take three times a day with breakfast, lunch, dinner. And this is again a painkiller uh, for three times a day. And this is a mild steroid. You have to take two tablets, two tablets, then one, one, one. You have to gradually reduce it. And this is a mupirocin ointment which is for your donor side. And the instructions is starts from this shampooing which we do after 24 hours. You have to use only Johnson baby shampoo for first 15 days. You have to take in the left hand make a leather and with the right hand with circular motions you have to wash your newly implanted hair just after one day. So after one day you can have a bath you can go anywhere you can go for shopping also and this is the saline this has to be used for first 24 hours your newly implanted hair are like newly implanted small plants so you want to keep them wet and keep them cold so this you have to just push shower it for uh, every two hours for first 24 hours so everything is included in the kit so you have to wash and shampoo and the medicine is included and the instructions are included. Now the instructions, you don't have to wear a round neck t-shirt or any anything which while you take it out and that might rub your hair. Second instruction is you should not touch your hair for first 48 hours. So it is the 48 hours which is the time in, in most of the graphs which are settled. So you avoid any drinks, any smoking for first 48 hours and avoid touching or rubbing your hair even by mistake. Second instruction is you should not take a shower. The shower can be very fast sometimes. So use a bucket and mug to have your bath. You can have your normal bath after just one day after 24 hours or after 48 hours. It depends on patient to patient. We inform the patient. And after just 48 hours, there is no precaution from dust no precaution from sweating and no precautions from uh, sunlight. You can go out. The dust, sweating, sunlight does not matter anything to a hair transplant. So you can go out to watch a movie, you can go out for a dinner, shopping, you can go out with your family, even you can go or fly back from your respective country from which you have come or you can travel in a train just after 24 hours or best, better after 48 hours. So you can also join your job or wear a cap after 48 hours. So this is not a surgery in which you need, you have got any stitches. There are no stitches. There are no marks. You can touch your donor side even if touches your chair. There is no problem in the FUE head transplant. So you can do anything after 48 hours. Thank you.